Fine wine from grape juice. How does it taste after a year? All right, so you see my dilemma here, right? I have these cute little adorable little tiny tasting glasses that from are, North Mountain Supply. Thank you so much. They're I adore them. They're adorable. But then I have this giant bottle of wine and I was poor and blind for that poor cam. I was so proud of myself because I'm just mentally I'm saying this is gonna end in tears. I am I am there's no way. See, but on the poor cam it has to stay on the table. It's like the horse Oh, jumping yeah. into the little tiny pool type thing. That that was the scenario. Yeah. Now, I will say that the color changed slightly over the year. It's not quite as nicely red. Was it was it always opaque? Yeah, it, it was always a little bit cloudy. Okay. I mean diagonally I can see through it, but holding it up, it's just yeah, like we didn't we didn't try to the void. clarify it. It's I mean it's like a six to a seven for clarity. That aroma is lovely though. Oh yeah. Smells wonderful. I'm liking What's that the aroma. final final gravity on this? One point oh oh two. So yep. this is quite dry. Okay, and it's thirteen and a half percent alcohol. Yep. You ready? I'm ready. Oh. Oh. Wow. What is this? Oh my God. That is the smoothest wine I have ever had. I'm getting like chocolate notes. Chocolate, this, coffee. This tastes like some of our put a bunch of stuff in it to make it fancy wines. Oh not, my not god. Just a generic grape this juice. This is Concord grape juice made there into There is a no way. There's no you you would pour this for somebody and you'd be like, oh, that was Concord grape juice. They'd be like, no. I think we no added no, we added airline. other grapes to it. But it started with Concord grape. We added other grapes to it. But we oaked it or something. We had to have to get some of these This is This is a thing of beauty. I I never in a million years I don't know. thought this was gonna be this good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the fine wine. Yeah. That's right. So we we added... We added all, the wine tannins, tannin and all kinds of stuff. And who and knows what we did. Whatever we did, well, let's do that again, shall we? Oh, my goodness. Seriously, as a dry wine, it comes in with a little bit of fruitiness to it. It coats your mouth. There's a little bit of the drying sensation from the tannins, but it is oh. so rich and thick. And at 13.5%, it is smooth. It is like drinking grape juice. It is, dare I say, oh. dolphin smooth. Wow. This is fantastic. And yeah, this isn't just good or great. This is amazing. Good news for me. We're having Italian food tonight, so guess what I'm bearing this with? Woohoo! Yeah. Oh my I gosh. I did not see this coming. I didn't either. We I liked it like, when we made it. Uh, you know, it's we liked be... it. It was good, but this is. This is. This is nuts. This this is complexity and a little tiny glass. And I'm so happy right now. I'm a little confused, but... It almost... I mean, there is just the ever so slightest hint of Concord grape. I'm not getting Concord grape. It's more like... I don't even want to say Pino. It's more like uh, Cabernet grape. A little deeper, a <clears throat> little richer. Um, I think it's a Cabernet Pino combo thing because I'm getting those those chocolatey coffee notes and that's typically more Pino in it. I don't know. Not a wine kind of I'm sort. talking out of my beep because I don't know, but she did her own sensor. Sound. I did my own sensor sound. That's kind of funny. It saved me some editing. Yeah, you just put the black bar and nobody yeah. will know the except now you know because I just told you. Oh. This was fantastic. I'm super impressed. Well, hot diggity Are we dog. sure this was the Concord wine that we just made nice? <laughs> it's fine wine from grape juice. Yeah. It's, it's, we hoided it up and. We hoided it so much it's, it's, it's beyond hoity. Plus the year makes this just like that little extra that we did. Was I would never have guessed this well was 1.002 either. This no. tastes, tastes a lot. There's a lot more body and flavor going for it that makes you think it's sweeter. And because we serve this, we're serving this. I need, um, I need more room temperature. 
It's got that the fullness, that fullness, and that warming and squirtiness, and it's squirtiness apparently right in his eyeball. Even though he's wearing glasses, it got around my it, glasses. It did the it did the curve, you know, where you take the gut. Like, what's that movie with um with where they curved bullets? Angelina, yeah, curved her bullet. That, that can't happen, by the no. way. Just in case you're wondering, Busters did a thing on that. It's not a thing. It doesn't. It doesn't work. Um, people would have been doing it already. <sighs> I, I am taken aback. Uh, honestly, yeah. I, I am at this a loss for words. Beyond expectations, exceeded every expectation. And like when we put the fine on this particular product, it, it was, was kind of a joke. It was a tongue in cheek. Let, we'll be completely honest. We were I just, mean, if you remember the original thumbnail, I had a t shirt on with a tie wrapped around my yeah. neck. Like, we, come on. We were just we kind of we were going, okay, let's just take our wine from grape juice and take it up a notch. Well, after aging that for a year, it's not just a notch that it was taken up. It's like 10 degrees or whatever. See, now, I would have thought that the color change would be from oxidation. Maybe somehow, but it's not. There's no flavor change no. from oxidation. So it must just be something with maybe they use fake colors mm -hmm. in the grape juice, which they probably do. I don't know. It's my fine. I am. I am just... Tickled whatever this color is right now, because this is fantastic. I am trying to think of what I would add to this to improve it, because that is always the case. Like, okay, we are at the year point. If I was to try to make this taste better, what would I need to do? I'm having trouble coming up with anything. Make, I like to say acidity. Make more, but maybe? It's got acidity. There's definitely an acidic component there. And I think too much would be just too much. <clears throat> the fruitiness is there. A little bit of sweetness is there. The tannic component is there. The mouthfeel, the aroma. Everything is all falling into place. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 surprising, <laughs> to be I honest. I would totally cook with this, too. I would. And a tomato sauce? Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's just the the ah. Oh, I I just could babble the on. The experience about on this it. is it's, actually pretty spectacular. It's lovely. It's, yeah. I don't know if I would like it in large doses. That's the only thing I would say. But I, but you know what? Dry wines I don't tend to do in large doses. Meads I put in a mug. I drink it from a mug. Wine I put it in a glass <clears> and I have a half a glass of wine. Just the way I do things. You don't get to keep that one. But it's mine. My precious. But, but you know. Oh boy, here we go. So we do have to put scores on this. Yep. And our scoring system goes one through ten, with the occasional eleven being reserved for those things that are just amazing. We go in half points. Up to about four point five is eh, probably no good. We we might dump that out. Five to seven point five is this is pretty good. Or five to seven. Sorry. Five to seven, not 7.57 7 is good. <laughs> and 7.5 and up is great to incredible. Fantastic. All right. <clears throat> do you have a number? I do. I have to drink the rest of this first. <sighs> All right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, Eleven. 10.5. I couldn't quite go to 11. Hi. I think just a tiny bit of acidity might improve it, but it's at that point where I don't know if it would improve it's, it. It's That's why I couldn't go... Picking hairs. Uh, splitting right. hairs. Splitting hairs. Doing something with hairs. Yeah. I Picking nits and splitting hairs. Oh, sure. I just want some more. That's all I yeah. want. But this is amazing... I think this is one of the highest scores we've given in quite some time. 10.5 and an 11. I don't think we've yeah. given an 11 in a while. Not in a while. But... I could be persuaded to go 11 on this, but I'd have to try it acidified a little bit to find out. That's the only thing. And I don't really want to do that right now. Okay. Well, it's so hard to get the quantities right in a very small amount. I know, I know. Um, but that would be the only way that I could go 11, is if I tried it acidified and I didn't like it any better, then I would call this an 11. So there, a qualified 11. How's that? <laughs> go ladies and gentlemen honestly though fantastic if you haven't made this one yet go ahead and make it make 27 gallons of it you won't regret it 
Although, 42. Do, do, 42. One, do one gallon first, make sure you like it, and then make more. That's, that's the easy way. <laughs> that's to right. Do this. Because but as always, everybody's taste is different. Yeah. But as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye bye.